say, we're wrong. Are we badger? The next natural habitat. Like all honey badgers, this particular one is equipped with incredible skill, strength, and stamina, as well as good work rate and positioning during the hunt. A honey badger's technique whilst finishing up his prey is second to none. Hi there, my name is George or the Real Wolfie and welcome to episode 2 of Chuck Match Weekly Updates. As you can see there, we have gone back to our losing ways. We are back down in 14th. Uh, you can see on the right, I lost 5-0 to top of the league. We're now 5 points clear. They have absolutely broken away from everyone. And yeah, we're not doing well again. We lost 5-0 in that game. And as you were seeing from the intro, I also have signed a new player. So now I only have 17 million, but I have signed a player that I've nicknamed Honey Badger. That is Paul Flavel, as he played his first two games. Uh, in the last two games, so he made his debuts. For one off the bench and one for a full-on debut. This is Paul Flavel, so you guys can check him out. But I'm really happy with him because of this. He has professionalism the highest, so he has 20 out of 20, as you can see there, professionalism, which is really good because he can play as a captain. He's not all that injury prone or aggressive or adaptable, but with a forward, it doesn't really matter about adaptability because you don't ch uh, tend to change their players. So the last games, as you saw on the first page, uh, we lost 5 mil to top of the league. I also played Stubby's Aliens, who I think are a mid-table team. I played them during the week as well. Yeah, Stubby's Aliens are actually fifth now. They beat me 2-1. And then I played Samuel UC, which I prepared my team for that game. I played them on Sunday, and we won 2-1 for that. So we did really well in that game. And our next match, which we will prepare for in a little bit, we're going to look at youth players and get that stuff out of the way. Is Adrian Alejandro, so we are against 17th, so it's another game that we must win. It's another must-win game for us, this one. So, first off, we're going to look at our, I think, we're going to look, yeah, we're going to look at our stadium first, because I do think there are a few things that can be upgraded again. So, our seats, uh, our seats, our seats are still upgrading, but we are able to upgrade our merchandise sco uh, store yet again. It costs two and a half million. I think we're going to go uh, right ahead and do that now. So we have two and a half million, eight weeks. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I have a really bad cold at the moment, which is typical as it is going to be Christmas on Friday, obviously. Yeah, and I'm getting pierced up Christmas. I cannot wait for that. So because, oh, there you go. You saw it just uh, bump up another floor. On the merchandise we're at level eight with our merchandise now but yeah as i was saying christmas i literally cannot wait for it because i'm getting a ps source i'll be able to start some gta formula one and minecraft videos so you might do fifa not really sure but i'll be able to start those for you after christmas right so i got in the last video a comment uh i got someone commenting saying that here these bits I need to change. I need to go from old talents and there's normal, but there's also young talents, which cost two pro days. But as you can see, the very top here, I have 203 pro, so that isn't much of a worry. And I can upgrade, uh, get more pro later. So we're going to look for some young talents here. This is the first time I've ever done this because I've already had this team for a little while. And as you can see, I am still learning with it because I didn't realize you could do that. So young talents, I think, are under 18 year olds. I think they're between 15 and 18. So here we go. Let's see what young talents we have. Yeah, we got 16 year olds and another 16 year old. So we've got offensive mid 16 year old and a goalkeeper. Now I'm going to look at the goalkeeper first, just because he's on the top. Let's see. Have we got a good goalkeeper who's only 16? These will go for so much. Oh God. Okay, we're not going to fire him yet. We're going to keep him for the time being. 
Well, we look at Kyle Lancaster. Has he got any potential? Neither of them have got potential. That is really bad. We're going to fire them both. But that is a really good tip that I've learned there to switch to the young talent. But sadly, today, we really have got a bad one there. So what we're going to do next, uh, th this episode, you will have seen the last episode, obviously, was 30 odd minutes long it was a massive episode this uh, uh, this episode hopefully is only going to be about 10 minutes long so you guys don't have to listen to me for too long so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to hop back into the league and we are going to look at adrian's team and see how good they are and then i will show you the setup that i will do for this game but yeah i'm kind of disappointed with that because I thought those young talents might give me a bit more potential, but as you can see, when you have a low level training, uh, sorry, a low level youth academy, you don't tend to get many good players. So this is Adrian Alejandro CS, no, wrong way around, Adrian Alejandro SC, sorry. And it's an all right team, I suppose. It's not brilliant, but it's all, it's okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to hop back into our tactics page and I'm going to show you the setup that I'm going to do for this. As you can see at the moment, this is the last match's tactics. Eshmael's still injured and Maguire got another yellow card last match. So I'm going to quickly pause the video here. I'm going to sort out the team and I will join you guys back once the whole uh, setup is got rid of. Uh, so I've cleared off my whole setup, even the advanced settings, I've completely cleared out, including the mentality and attacking style. And I'm going to show you the setup that I'm going to do for this game. So at the moment, Robert Beach has been playing pretty average, but I don't want to take him off for this game. I think he's going to play pretty much every single game this season maybe fletcher will play cup matches but for now fletcher is going to just be a bench man beach is our be our better goalkeeper anyway and i mean fletcher's good but i do prefer to use john beach now defending as you can see my two best defenders uh adam mcguire and amir ishmael they are both either suspended or as or injured and they'll both be back after the next game so that means i'm gonna have to put on my second best left back who's not bad tom turner is quite good even though at 20 i wouldn't be happy to have white hair i mean god you look like my granddad but somehow well actually no you don't because my granddad's bald but even so white hair you're 20 what is going on but anyway we're gonna put on our best right back as usual but at the moment we're gonna put on Andy Travis because he has been in sensational form for me at the moment and Geats will be on as usual. Vanna hasn't been brilliant but he has got to go on the bench anyway because I my other two good defenders are both sent off. So now midfield this is where it's gonna get confusing and a bit complex so we're gonna go for the forward sis now, last match, we had Honey Badger on, and he's going to stay on because he's been playing okay. He hasn't had a real chance to score, and we're going to play him with Ludlow. Then, as for other players on the pitch, Bianchi has been okay, and Norland have been okay, has been okay. And we need four more players on the pitch, but Clark Fox has been sensational at the moment, as has... Uh, Panis, he's been okay. And Johnson has been good. So they have been the good three, but that obviously doesn't really work because there's no play there. So what I am thinking of doing is playing... Uh, I am tempted to play Norland. I think I'm going to put Norland there. I'm going to put Panis on the bench and put Dimitriou there, play those, and then my winger, I'll put Seymour there, so he's actually a right mid, so he won't be the wing, and then I can put on, who can I actually put on, 
Uh, my, this is going to be some play there. I think I'm going to have to put on my... Uh, okay, guys, put in the comments uh, who you think out of Cozy Potter, Tony Schofield, and Jules Bianchi, who I should put on. I'm going to just put for now... Oh, no. Actually, guys, it's going to have to be Potter. Think about it. Don't put it in the comments. Unless you really think I should go for uh, Schofield or even Saunders, maybe. Saunders is okay, but he's not brilliant. But it has to be Potter because Schofield is good, but he's not brilliant. And I can't put any more foreigners on. So that is going to be the starting 11. It's a kind of weird one, but I'll explain why I've done this. So basically, if we actually just sort this out so Flavel's going to be captain because he's got his 20 out of 20 professionalism corner we're looking for so good crossing we've got nine there or oh, two that's that's really good crossing or oh, 10 11 i think it's geats who i suppose he has 17. yep so geats is our corner taker as usual penalty taker is uh who has the best set pieces six eleven eight Seven, seven, thirteen. We need they're all good. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna put these two like that with finishing wise because Clark Fox has the best set pieces and he only has thirteen, but he's not good at finishing or heading or long shots, which we do need. So I'm just gonna keep these two here. But anyway, if you're wondering why I've put three in midfield and they're all centre mids, well, Johnson and Fox in our two win, uh, our two one win over uh, Sandwell last Sunday, the match that I set up, they were our goal scorers. So our forward lot didn't even get a goal. They were our goal scorers, and Fox has been sensational, and Johnson's just very consistent. So. I wanted to play both of those two, but I wanted to have Norland on because he hasn't been playing for a while. And you look there, he has 20 finishing. I mean, you can't not play someone like that against a good team. And I want these two on because I want to see how well they play together. Dimitri is our only other sentiment, and he's okay. And it's better having three sentiments than having just a left mid or a right mid. So what I'm going to do sub-wise is 60 minutes in. I'm going to make, no, let's make that six, six, no, let's keep it 60, so 60 minutes in, I'm going to make a substitution, no matter what the score is, and we're going to take off, who has the worst stamina, 12, 14, 12, okay, so those two have the worst stamina, so we're going to take off Johnson for Panis left mid, we're going to actually change the time, to the final 20 minutes and same with this one that all my free substitutions are going to come late on in the game so we're going to bring Seymour, Seymour on for Fox at right mid and then uh, 75 minutes in we're going to bring off I think I think I actually might bring off Ludlow just so one game we'll take him off early yeah, for Potter, because Ludlow does have brilliant stamina. So that's what I'm going to do with them. So that will then mean Panis will come on here at left mid. And Seymour, oh, that just swapped them out. Seymour will come on at right mid. And we'll just be left with Dimitri in the centre there. So that will kind of work. And then our, attack, our mentality is going to be slightly attacking with short passing. That's our more attacking style that seems to work. And it worked against the small teams last time. So leave in the comments down below if you think I have messed up badly. Yeah, just let me know. And if you think there's a better formation, you tell me about it. You saw the majority of my players there. But being honest, I personally think that is the formation that will give me the biggest chance of being able to win. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a few more players to sell. I'm going to cut ahead in the video again, so once I've done that, it's pretty much going to be the same players because only one of them sold last time. And yeah, I'm going to cut ahead to the video in the video 
until uh, I have sorted out who's going to be transfer listed and who isn't. Hey okay, guys, so I have uh, transfer listed six players again this week. Matt Kendall is one of those. And if it brings up, that's Matt Kendall. He's up for 500,000. That is it. He's quite a cheap player, not a bad start goalkeeper. If he isn't, well, I will probably just fire him, being honest, because I have so many goalkeepers, as you will have seen. Uh, another player up for sale is one of my old beasts, Hill Kwan Ju. He is up for 5 million. I really hope so goes soon because he is a brilliant starter player to have. He scored uh, last season, he scored 12 goals in 27 games. He just goes on form for good periods of time. He is a great start player for people to buy. He's only 5 million, so he's pretty cheap. Both of us about for sale this time for only 4 million, so I've taken a million pounds off his price tag. Uh, Ketelaz is up yet again. I think he's only up for about a million or something this time. Maybe two. I can't remember what I've put him up as. Him and Miles, young, quick, offensive mid, good for training grounds. These two both have a bit of potential. So you saw Scotland in the last episode. So go and buy those guys if you want to. If not, they'll probably just get fired because I really don't need any more players. I'm quite happy at the moment. Oh, I'm going quickly... Uh, show you one last thing on this video which is the friendly league as actually no there will be one more thing after that uh, we are looking at the friendly league so this is the youtube friendly league which obviously i'm going to include on this uh on this series that i'm doing and these are the teams that are in it afc simon's reds swanley shooter uh Nike Bing FC, FC Amiga, Racing Club Allendale, myself, Red Bridge Rejects, and Private Jokers. So there are seven rounds. We all play each other once. And the next round of this so is me versus FC Amiga. So that's on Tuesday. I will tell you how that match goes next uh, episode. I'll show you his team that episode and things like that. But we've all been. Yeah, yeah, we've all been chatting a bit there. Hopefully it's going to be a good game between me and Amiga. Let the fun begin. Everyone's really excited for this. So, well, we are going to be broadcasting this so Friendly League on uh, my YouTube channel. And hopefully, yeah, yeah, the, uh, you guys will enjoy it. So that's my little bit of chat in there. What's going on in the Premier League? So last week, after five games, we saw Landles was back at the top as he was last season. This season, we'll see if we can go for the treble again, the Euro Championship, the Cup and the Premier League. He is, I think, one of the first clubs ever if not the first club ever, to have got the treble. We're going to see how this uh, season is panning out in the Premier League. Yeah, he's now four points clear. So he is really running away with it so far. One loss, and he won the last one against Magic Marbles, who have now moved down into 15th because of that. So it's going pretty well for them at the moment. Philbert this season hasn't been able to get off to the good start they had done last season but as you can see Landles is running away with this at the moment and we'll also go quickly check in the championship before I sign off for this uh, the second episode of weekly updates I'm going to check in the championship and see what is happening there see how my friend Bones is getting on is he in this championship I don't think he is no, there are a few groups, but Shanks Army's also running away in this one. He so he's going to be wanting to get back up into the Premier League as soon as he can. That's it for this episode, guys. I'm going to go on the hunt for a player named Christmas now, because there tend to be a few. And I will see you in the next episode, which I think I'm actually going to do one midweek, which might be a hunt for people named Christmas. It might just be a Christmas-themed episode, something like that. But there might be one midweek. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Wolfie. This has been Trey from Aisha. 
we've been absolute crap again. And yeah, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. See ya.